Hey babes, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Susie. If you're new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you're returning, what's good, what's popping? Y'all already know what to do. So y'all, we do a bunch of DIYs and vlogs over here. Vlogs every Friday, every Wednesday, we got a DIY. So make sure y'all subscribe. But let's get into it, y'all. So this is my first time making a um, varsity jacket. And I made it from scratch to like the... Um, patches and everything like that or whatever so this is for a little girl for her birthday and y'all i definitely got a story to tell behind that it is juicy and yeah stuff like that happens but y'all gotta stay to the end of the video so y'all can hear the story but okay so right now i picked these little things up uh at walmart the little fleece sheet um for like i think like a dollar or whatever so Y'all, my Cricut was tweaking when I was trying to cut this out, so I ended up using my iPad. Like, I had to get real creative, y'all. I used my iPad and just kind of, like, traced um, the little font off of there and then just literally cut it out and went from there. And it came out pretty freaking dope. So right now I am just um, gluing the white to the black. And I'm going to put that to the side. And these are the materials that you will be needing throughout this video. So, yeah, I really enjoyed making this piece. It was a little challenging because, like I said, this was my first time. But I feel like I did a really, really awesome job at this. But, um, I really tried to be as detailed as possible with this video so if y'all have any questions please let me know i'm not really going to talk to through this through the whole time because y'all i am so tired but i am trying to get this video up i've been working 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 i got like four orders that i am working on so if y'all have any questions don't hesitate to ask i got y'all but right now we're cutting out the lining and i'll jump in and out of the video when I feel like I can like explain something that's new but yeah and y'all I can't wait to y'all hear this story about my client but it is what it is okay so so right here as y'all can see I am doing the sleeve and I am doing it on a fold Doing the sleeve on the fold is the best way to do it because it's so easy and so convenient. But now I am just cutting out the um, leather sleeve part right here. So y'all, now that we have all the pieces for the line, and we're basically cutting out the materials for the fleece and the leather, like you'll have double of everything, basically. And this is what you should have. So y'all, now with the pockets, y'all. So just be with me on this part, like. So right here we are cutting out, I believe it's like maybe two and a half inches wide. And I just went ahead and cut like the end of the fabric and we're going to go in like with I think five inches. Yeah, so five inches for each piece. And then I went ahead and cut that so we're going to have four pieces in total for the pockets and then right here was some old pockets that I was going to use but never use them so now we're going to just make some smaller ones and I am using like some silk satin um, fabric for that so it can be a nice little feel when you're reaching into your pocket you know you know but y'all you know what okay I'm gonna explain this first okay so we doing like this I already had went and wrote in like the pocket and where we're just gonna place it. And right now I am basically mimicking the 
same areas so I can know where we will have to sew using my ruler to make sure we got the straight line and then we're going to make sure you put the little slits for the triangle little piece right there and then we're going to go ahead and just sew down the sides y'all like just the sides it's going to look like I'm going across but I just lift it up so I can sew straight down on the other side like so And also y'all this video is like a couple months old so some footage is lost and I'm gonna tell y'all why I did not post it yet in a second after I explain this so now you're just gonna cut right here you don't want to cut all the way but literally right where we made the um, pockets so and you see I cut the slits and now it's time to just turn that to the outside like so and then you got your cute little pocket y'all i was so amazed by this when i finished i'm like yeah it's official okay then we're just gonna pin it and then line it up to how you want it to look on the outside and how thick you want the um the two line parts and then just literally sew down the sides Okay, so, so now we're going to take the satin pieces and we're going to attach them to the outside of the pocket like this. And we're not sewing it on the pink, just the white, just white on white, like that. And you're going to do the other side. And then, of course, you're going to go ahead, pin and attach them together and sew them closed. Okay, y'all, so I think I can go in with the story. So my client she hit me up this was like i said months ago and she wanted this varsity jacket so i had enough time to create it it was like i think it was due in like october or something like that so um when i'm working on the order okay yeah this is the cute little pocket so cute yeah i'm trying to see what's next okay attaching the front and the back okay so yeah y'all know how to do this part so when I'm working with a client, I send pictures as I go, you know. So as I was sending them, she was saying she was liking everything. So um, once the jacket was finished and whatever it is, I guess it wasn't what she wanted. And she was like, oh, this looks nothing like the picture. And which it don't, but my thing is I was sending pictures as we was going and she never said like okay yeah I don't like it this is too big or so at this point now it's too late for me to change anything in which I never mind doing like I love to please my clients so there's no hard feelings at all it's just I was just a little confused but and then y'all another crazy thing that happened in the process of me making the jacket as well is the buttons this is my first time making it and I use the heavy duty buttons for this and this material is more on the thinner side so it's more stronger than the fabric so like when you put the um, buttons together and you try to unsnap the coat it was like kind of like ripping away from the fabric and once I think that I didn't want to sell it anyway so it was cool that she never came and got it but I eventually told her because it's like it's nothing that I can do with the jacket so I told her she don't have to pay like the remainder of her balance or whatever and you know she was cool with that and said she'll come get it but she never showed so it was like there's nothing I can do with the jacket so but like I said no hard feelings I just didn't know what to do with the jacket I'm like should I post it should I not should I like what should I do with it so I'm like Fuck it, I'm just gonna post it and show my work or whatever, but.
So we're gonna go ahead and do the wristbands and um yeah so this part was a little tedious because i was trying to make sure i got the wristband so they can fit snug around her wrist um and not be so loose or whatever so of course they are small she's a four year old and is this was the hard part right here so i had to like as i was doing i had to stretch because i'm getting the lining the leather in the wristband trying to get all of that together and it was so tight because yeah but i got it and it looks so good y'all so good so um what's next the waistband y'all this was something else like i really love doing this especially when i'm doing something new it just be like wow but when the outcome it just really be like wow 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 but y'all yeah now i am just attaching the um the waistband to the jacket or whatever and it's coming out nice y'all so now you just attaching the line and just like we did the actual jacket and then once we got that all together we're gonna go ahead and add that to the inside of the jacket and we're gonna sew around the wrist parts and then around the bodies and i will um point out each part that i sew y'all this part was a little trick but I, this is the way that i am doing it and again y'all by this video being old some of the footage was missing so like as you can see that piece y'all didn't see me cut it out or whatever but that's like the inside lining part and also I wasn't able to show y'all um, me putting on the buttons because like I said a lot of footage was lost because this video is months old and I wish I could have been showed you guys it but unfortunately I was waiting around and I just went ahead and decided to go ahead and post it. But now we're going to go ahead and attach the collar so everything can be official. But, um, y'all, I really appreciate y'all. We are growing over here and I am just so excited for this new year. I have so much to offer y'all. Y'all, I've been so busy. Y'all, my vlogs is going to tell it all. Um, but make sure y'all stay tuned make sure y'all subscribe to my channel make sure y'all give this video a big thumbs up um but i love you guys oh so much i'm gonna let you guys finish watching the video and then i'm gonna post in some pictures of the final finishing look but bye